what percent of what it takes to successfully influence your audience? So what percent do you think that is? If you had to take a guess and you want to put it in chat, what percent would you say authentic presence counts for? What percent of what it takes to successfully influence your audience? And maybe put that into the chat. Yeah, 90, 75, 50. I have seen it go up to 90. Uh, Teresa even said 100%. So in the research, we've seen anywhere between 26% and 90%. So no matter what, if you're competing for a sale with someone or competing for a job or uh, a promotion or whatever, they are going to choose the one that has the most authentic presence. So that's why it's important that we continue to work on it on a daily basis. And then let's go to the next chart. This is the second part of your presence. So this is another thing that's really helpful to be in touch with in terms of your authentic presence. It's your brand. It's your most powerful way of adding value by expressing your most unique gifts and talents. And when you are connected to your brand, it can really help you to show up with authentic presence and make that sale influence uh, whatever, whatever you're trying to achieve, it will help you to do that because you know who you are. So, so let me just say that uh, if we go to the next chart, here's an example of someone's authentic brand. And this is a co this is someone I've coached. Uh, she's a senior executive at a Fortune 50 company. So for her, her brand was I'm a role model leader who teaches others how to be better leaders through leading by example. I interact without judging or becoming defensive. And I give this by understanding individual choices, making wise decisions, and meeting my commitments. So that is an example of an authentic brand statement. Now, in an hour, we can't have everyone develop theirs. This is in the book. So if you want to get in touch with yours, I highly recommend doing this exercise in the book. But I will share one of the questions because I think it's very important to be in touch with this. So if we go to the next chart, that is question five. It's your one leadership strength. What's the one thing I know I have as a leadership strength that comes naturally to me? And you can see here, an example might be providing a safe environment for everyone to speak their truth or inspiring people to give their 100% or setting a clear vision that many follow. Think about what's that one thing for you that you know you have as a strength. And I want you to write that down or type it in on page five. There's a space for that. This is probably something that other people have said to you over the years, like you are so good at this. You are so good at X then what is that X? Like for me, it's that first bullet. It's providing a safe environment for everyone to speak their truth. So many times people will say to me, I never told anyone this before. And that's something that comes naturally to me that people feel safe in opening up, especially my clients and my customers. So what's yours? And write that down because I will tell you that if you get in touch with this great gift of yours, you can give that no matter what you're doing, whether it's in your business, in your family, with your friends, in your community, and it helps you to feel fulfilled when you're in touch with this. So again, here's an example of the full authentic brand. And if you have an interest in getting in touch with yours, definitely check out the, the exercise in the book uh, to get in touch with your brand statement. So this example, uh, the woman I was coaching, a senior executive, she said her greatest gift is really meeting her commitments. Like, like that's just something that everyone always tells her she's really good at. So meeting your commitments. If you want to type in chat what your greatest gift is, you can do that and uh, we, we can see or you can keep it to yourself, whatever you prefer. But something you can do when you do get in touch with your brand is keep it by you, read it in the morning, uh, maybe put it on your computer or a device, 
Uh, you could even uh, continue to improve it and adjust your brand statement. But I read mine before important reading meetings or presentations. It's also really helped me get through uncertain times like this COVID uh, pandemic and the impact on our business. We were doing in-person training before COVID and didn't do as much virtual. So our business came to a halt for a couple months and it took everything I had to stay centered in why I show up every day. And this brand statement is what helped me to show up every day, read the brand and continue to show up and provide. And we, move, we moved through it. Um, th thank God that uh, we, we have moved through it and now are doing 90% virtual, which is unbelievable. So those are a little bit about your presence. In terms of what is authenticity, it's really when you are showing up with your authentic presence and your brand for your chosen audience. It's your most powerful way of adding value by expressing your unique gifts and talents for your chosen audience. I often hear authenticity described as it's all about me, right? It's regardless of you, I'm just going to be authentic. But it's an authentic choice to be in front of an audience. It's, it's part of your authenticity to choose to be in front of an audience. So we also have to serve that audience, authentically choose, serve that audience. So it's really where authenticity and servant leadership comes together. 